Just these two for a VIPs. No problem. My favorite Elvis story was the day that I was sleeping one night at midnight and the phone rings and anytime Elvis would call me, these were the words I would hear. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, well, I'm sleeping right now. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. What do you need? He said, I need you to come out to the house. I get in my car and I drive out to Graceland. And as I'm driving up the drive, of course I lived at Graceland for seven years with Elvis and uh, if the walls could talk. Uh, so I'm driving up to the house and Elvis is coming out of the front door with his cape on. This is back when he was, he was loving the movie Shaft and he dressed with a hat and a cape. And I said, uh, he said, get in the car. I said, where are we going? He said, we're going to Texas. I said, we're going, I gotta go to work in the morning. He said, no, we're going to Texas. I'm building an airplane called the Lisa Marie, and I want you to see it, uh, show you what I'm doing. So we're about 30,000 feet flying to Dallas, Texas with Elvis and myself and three other people. And we're sitting knee to knee, and he looks at me and he says, when we get back home, he said, I bought you a bus today, a tour bus. I said, you bought me a tour bus? He said, yeah, it's gonna help you get started with your career. He said, I sent J.D. Sumner and Larry Strickland, who is married to Naomi, to North Carolina on the other jet today to pick up a bus for you. So I guess that was probably one of my greatest memories was finding out I've been given a tour bus. So, oh, it's hard in town to get you off my mind. Early and I'm feeling fine I'll soon be over you